All right, this is vlog number four, and I just woke up, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to do, I'm actually going to do a couple vlogs today, but I wanted to do a post-Ignite Ottawa vlog. Um, I did that pre-Ignition Ottawa. I, I thought it was clever saying Ignition. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, Ignite Ottawa is an event where a bunch of speakers go and talk about whatever they want. It doesn't really matter what they talk about. They have, I'm reading it right now, five minutes and 20 slides. So it has to be evenly spaced out, I believe. So I think that's like 15 seconds per slide, if I'm correct in my math. If I'm not, then whatever. But uh, uh, there was about, I would say about eight or nine um, presenters at the event. Uh, it was held at um, the Velvet Room in the Byward Market, which is a nice little club, a nice little uh, uh, pub, I would say. And uh, there was different topics, like how Shakespeare would be like today with our ever-correcting language skills, and, and how he would be ruined if he was alive and kicking and doing his poems today. Um, there was one that I really liked that I think actually won, which was about community, which hit me in the junk, no, hit me hard, because, uh, that's what I'm doing currently with the Canadian blogging community, uh, Canadian blogger community, sorry, um, it's, it's all about community to me, and, and that really, uh, drove some points home, and, uh, uh, made me think about some things, so that that was cool, and I and I uh, and I liked that. Whoever did that one, I keep forgetting names. I'm horrible at that. But uh, what else was there? There was there was some. There was like one at the end that was an ob obviously advertising an improv group where he was talking about improv in everyday life. It didn't seem very set up. Like he could have gone a lot more into it. Like talking about maybe improv everywhere a great uh, a great improv team that does stuff uh, just about anywhere in the world and um, does it in real life basically but uh, he was just it just seemed like a bunch of BSing just to get an advertisement and at the end it, you could have done better uh, what else was there Do, it's hard to remember all of them. Um, honestly, I don't know if it was, but it should have been taped and put up online and, so that people could see what happens. Um, maybe next Ignite Ottawa, if they have one anytime soon, um, I'll talk to the promoter and see if uh, maybe we can do a, a vlogging thing where, um, where a bunch of our vloggers go and cover the event that that would be pretty cool. Um, I was there but I wasn't like in a good spot so I could record any of the presentations and plus I didn't know if I could record the presentations because I didn't talk to the promoter except to get a ticket last minute. So uh, it, it was a good event. I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed networking with people. That, that was a big networking spot. People could uh, talk about... Uh, uh, it's one of those 2.0 gatherings really. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, there's a lot of people who are really big on 2.0, which is like the next, the, the current level or the next level of internet stuff or, or in networking in general or something like that. Um, like me, vlogging is a, is a great representation of, of the next level of what's on the internet. Twitter is a good example. Facebook even is like a current example. Just anything that's that's hip and popular on internet culture, anything that'll uh, help further businesses or or projects or anything like that. And a lot of people like to meet up and discuss these type of things and how they can benefit and how they can work with each other. So uh, I met a few people, uh, some people who are looking into getting into vlogging. Uh, Apartment 613, uh, you can just Google them and you'll see it's a, it's a great resource for Ottawa. 
and uh, I believe they're they're wanting to get into vlogging, so I gave them my information. Hopefully, uh, they if they get into it, they might join the CVC if the, if they want to, you know. Um, but uh, a great networking event. Uh, I actually went because Gordon, another vlogger in the net, in the community, um, told me about it, and I was like, "What's this?" and he told me, and then I all of a sudden tried to get a ticket, and I got in, and I, I had a blast. It was fun. So, if Ignite Ottawa comes back, if it, if there's an, another one anytime soon, I'll let you know, and uh, I'll also try to get uh, the vloggers involved. So that's Ignite Ottawa. Ignite Ottawa, pretty cool. Um, if you want a quick way to get to Ignite Ottawa, um, Let's see here. Is there a quick link I can give you? Uh, I'll I'll give you this link. It's actually I'll give you a link at the YouTube page of this video, down at the bottom, right over there. Well, not the bottom, but the left hand side, right there, right down there, at the more info area. Um, there'll be a link there to see the Ignite Ottawa page. Uh, really. These guys should live stream the event or, or or videotape it and put it online on YouTube. It would be smart. It would be smart. Uh, I want to get into um, TEDx Ottawa. I love TED. The TEDx stuff that I have it on my pot on my uh, iPod as a podcast uh, where they go and the, the big speakers. But there's a local Ottawa one that, that they're going to be doing and they're sold out. I want in. So if anyone out there who's watching can get me into TEDx Ottawa, I'd be super, 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 can I say it again? Super um, happy and excited. All right. Well, that's enough. Um, get ready for vlog number five, which is coming soon. What am I going to talk about? We'll see.